Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. My name is Christopher Penn, and this is a tutorial on how we're going to set up accelerated mobile pages for a WordPress blog, and then add to it Google Analytics tracking for accelerated mobile pages. You're going to need a WordPress blog, obviously, a Google Analytics account, an FTP or SFTP client, and a text editor of some kind that will allow you to edit text. So let's get started. First, what are accelerated mobile pages? This is a consortium by, led by Google on creating faster mobile pages that uh, will render better on mobile devices. You can see this uh, post here about it. If you want just Google for accelerated mobile pages, this is probably one of the first uh, one or two search results. So to do this, we need to obviously install this into our WordPress blog. The good news is that WordPress, uh, the company Automatic, has created a plugin that will let you render any of your existing blog posts as accelerated mobile pages. I'm going to go to Add New. I'm going to search for Accelerated Mobile Pages. And what we're looking for is one by Automatic, which is the company that makes WordPress. We're going to install now. I already backed my thing up. We'll activate the plugin. And now the AMP plugin is installed. It is fairly um, unimpressive to look at. Here's how you find out if it's working or not. Go to any page on your website, any blog post, and just type in the word AMP after it. And what you should get, of course, is a slimmed down version of, uh, of your page. Now, this by itself is good for mobile devices, but you can see by my Ghostry plugin here that there's no Google Analytics tracking. There's none of that stuff. It's just the slimmest possible page. So what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to make uh, Google Analytics work with this. Google has set up a blog post that explains a uh, developer post on how to add analytics to your AMP pages. And it's a relatively straightforward set of interactions. You have to install the script library on the page template, and then you need to add in the uh, tracking tags for what type of tracking you want to do. Let's go to our FTP engine. I'm going to find the WP content folder. And then in here, we're going to want to look at for the plugins folder, find AMP. <clears throat> and then inside of the AMP folder, you'll have your single page. And what you'll see here is pretty straightforward. This is exactly what, uh, this is everything that it belongs in the AMP uh, toolkit. So we should see some basic fonts, load parts. And we're going to want to now uh, make some additions to this. We will add in the tracking tags. In Google's directions, they say the analytics uh, AMP script here should be imported before the AMP library itself. So here is the AMP post template head. That's the where the AMP library will be invoked. So we'll want to paste. Google's tag there. And then we're going to go down to here. It says add the AMP analytics element to the body of your page. So uh, we're going to uh, copy and paste the AMP analytics script for this page view. Right now we're going to just track page views. You can obviously add lots of other things uh, to this. So let's paste this into the body. Now, one thing that's important here is that we will need to add a property ID. And one of Google's recommendations is that you set up a separate property for AMP measurement in your Google Analytics. So in Google Analytics, find your go to the admin menu, find your site, and instead of using a regular property, you're going to create a new property. So this is a website. We'll call this Christopher Penn. AMP measurement. Choose our industry category here of business. 
for me personally, obviously change it to whatever is appropriate for you. Set up your time zone. And now we're going to make note of this tracking variable because that's what needs to go into our script here. And now we've got our AMP analytics. And this should be enough. Hit save if you need to in your FTP client to push the, the data forward uh, into your server. You'll have to do that. Or in my case, I just hit save and it just does its thing. And now we'll go back to the website, hit refresh. Notice that because AMP does not fire most scripts, it still is not going to show up in Ghost Street. But I'm going to view source. There's my uh, AMP tracking tag right there, my AMP analytics. And up here is the AMP uh, frame and the AMP analytics tag, which loads before the AMP uh, JavaScript as Google specifies in its blog post. Now the last thing we're going to want to do is go to Google Search Console, which is formerly Webmaster Tools, and make sure that Google has uh, indexed our site. If it has not indexed it recently, we may want to manually submit a sitemap again. You would do that through sitemaps. You can submit your sitemap here, whatever it is, your XML sitemap, and that will tell Google, hey, please go and take another look at my website. The reason you want to do that is that Google can actually detect uh, AMP pages. You'll notice here there's a, a notice in my account saying, we've detected that you have AMP pages. Open up an AMP report and then uh, check the pages for errors. Now, obviously, I just uh, made a bunch of changes, and I uh, replaced a previous version of the AMP plugin, which was throwing a lot of errors. So hopefully in the next day or so, I should see the number of uh, errors go down and the uh, AMP indexed pages go up. But that's the tutorial for how to set up AMP plus AMP analytics on your website. Make sure that you test it out. Follow Google's instructions to the letter when it comes to adding analytics, where to use it, what properties to put it in so that you don't mess up your website. And let me know how it works out for you. For more information about AMP, be sure to Google about it, Accelerated Mobile Pages. You'll find all sorts of uh, useful documentation about it. And try it out on your website. If you like this video, please share it. Uh, it is on YouTube and on my blog. Just uh, feel free to share the URL. Thanks for watching.